We've got Elliot Powell, a manager of the Jersey Men's Marathi side, the close finance sponsored Marathi. Elliot, you've able to build perhaps on last year's Island Games and how strong a squad have you got going into this Marathi on Saturday? Yeah, we're delighted with the squad that we've got. Um, I think it's a good mixture of, of Bulls lads and, and local league lads that have had excellent seasons kind of across the board. So delighted with what we've got. We've got a strong 22-man squad, a uh, couple, of, couple of niggles here or there, but uh, largely everyone's fit and ready to go for it. And have you been able to do any homework on what Guernsey are likely to bring in terms of their squad? Um, yeah, possibly a tiny bit, but look, it's a new management team for Guernsey, so um, whilst we can watch Guernsey FC and maybe look at some of the players that, that will be participating on Saturday, um, you know, Ryan and Dave are going to set their teams up, I'm sure, slightly differently from Tony and put their own stamp on it. So uh, we've watched the ordinary game back. Again, be different players, I suspect, that will be involved in this. It's not too, too much homework you can do. So in that case, kind of just focus on ourselves and, and really try and take the game as much as we can on the front foot. Uh, and in terms of how you're set up, you've got an idea of how that's going to work, blending the Bulls players with the other club players? Yeah, look, you know, just because they play for separate teams, a lot of these lads have played a lot of age group football together or um, before the Bulls' inception, they played a lot of football together as well. So I'm not too worried about the gelling nature of it. You know, we've got three sessions this week. It's intense. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. Um, obviously, Saturday, we've got kind of pre-game build-up together as well. So I'm really not worried about the dynamic this year at all. Obviously, last year we had a 10-11 week run up to the Island Games and a lot of that hard work is still there. The foundations of it are still there. So, um, yeah, we're, we're really delighted with it. And I think you know, come Saturday, these lads will be playing in red, all, all playing for the badge. So uh, I, I really don't have any issues with that. And at some point before Saturday, you're going to have to probably trim that squad down a little bit to name your match day 16. Uh, it'll be match day 18 for us, slightly different from the women's, from the women's setup, which is 16. So we're allowed to to name 18 and use five of those seven subs. Um, so that gives us a little bit more kind of room for manoeuvre, which we're, which we're delighted about. Obviously we only took um, 16 last year. So that gives us a little bit more, a little bit more flexibility, but it's gonna be really tough to, to even pick those four lads that, that drop out. Um, the standard of last week's training even just kind of just got going tonight, but straight away you can see that everyone's at it, everyone's fighting for those places. And you know, myself and the coaching team got some tough calls to make, no doubt. And we understand there's going to be a big crowd here on Saturday. How important is that to get behind the team and to spur them on to perhaps winning the Marathi on Saturday? Yeah, great. Look, I think there's nothing better than, than playing in front of a home crowd and, and certainly on Marathi Day with the women's beforehand and, and the men's after. It's a, it's a great day for local football and, and hopefully kind of Springfield's packed out. JFA have made a big big effort this year in terms of making it a real kind of spectacle of a day. So uh, from our point of view, we just need to make sure that our performance matches that all of those efforts that have gone on from, from all of the JFA staff, all of the volunteers we're working on match day, we need to make sure that we're not putting in quite a down performance and actually it's front foot, it's attacking and we're really trying to take the game to go into this year. Well, for those who can't get a ticket to the game, it's going to be streamed live and you can get your information on Marathi.j. But until then, go well on Saturday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.